Hello everyone, it's Gwethon from Gwethon's Games and today I'm going to show you an easy way to play the Warden. Now, the Warden itself, I'm go also going to go into Sarnur. It uh, is, if you look, it's just to the southwest of Nogmond. Oops. And it's a level 45 area. So. Which you get quests from, from uh, Thorin's Hall. Now, normally what I would be doing is, uh, so it's, the entrance is just here. Now, the, as I said, the Warden is one of the hardest characters to play, but it doesn't have to be that way. So I'll just have a little bit of food, just just because, just to tidy up. Okay, so what I've set up is, I'll actually show you the setup before I run it. I'm running in a settlement mode, uh, settlement traits. So I'm using the javelin and I've, so this is going to be a quick toss, which is going to be a javelin effect. And there are three main builds. These are the three main builders. But I'm only going to be using Quick Toss, Warden's Aim, and the Gambit Default, basically, just to start off with. So let's have it's ranged attack. One, two, and the finisher. Do that again. Quick Toss. You can see over here it's a Javelin. The next one is a Fist. And then the finisher, done. Keep going. The range is 30 meters, which is quite fine. Finished. And you can keep going if you if you know Sanu at all. There's an area down the bottom which you can get to. I'm just going through the same thing. So, as I said, it's relatively straightforward. Um, there's lots of... I've got multiples here, but that's okay. I'll just go through it again. And, as you noticed, because I didn't get the finisher, I actually got the second level of finisher on this. But just going through the same sequence. One. Oh, quick toss. Warden's aim. Striking offence. So now that I've got that queued up, I can actually use that to just to start the attack for the next one. Okay, now if I mess this up, so I've got one javelin, I just go back to the beginning. It gives me a two javelins, which is another ranged attack. And just go through the sequence again. Okay, so, quite straightforward, uh, and I will, there are a lot of difficult builds, that are difficult gambits you can do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the more difficult area of Sanya, and I'm actually going to run through one or two of those, just so that you know. But javelin, fist, gambit complete. Okay, so that's the that's that's an easy to play warden assailment mode, which means you use javelin. And now we'll, I'll show you what we've actually got, what I've got in the form of, as I said, running with. Basically everything to do with range damage, a bit of melee change, some extra critical chance. Um, I'd put more into barbed javelins if I had a chance. So whenever you, you have got a bleed going, if you hit again, it uh, changes it into direct damage. So I'm not doing a damage over time build with this one. Now, 
and also while I'm at it, I'm running with medium armor, mainly finesse and crit, mainly or guild build, uh, and these just come from. I've got the extra out of combat run speed um, necklace just so I can get the extra 8% run speed, which I usually do. It's a high elf, but but until I get the uh, the racial, I just use that. Uh, and these came from the skirmish camp. Now, fairly straightforward uh, legendary items. The gambit build build the damage you get that when you when you get uh, get the legendary item. Um, javelin skills damage, which is an extra javelin skills. Light, because most of these are light damage, especially when you use the light oil, which I, I tend to use. I've got spear damage, dam damage, and fist gamut damage. So basically all the basics are all set up so that I can use... Uh, so I can use any of the gambits built up if needed. Okay, so I'm going to go down the stairs and I'm going to get some of the more meatier opponents. And I'm going to change slightly what I'm going to do, which is going to make a lot of people that actually play Wardens happy. Uh, as I said, there's, okay, didn't say it, but there's also a Force March, which is 38% out of combat speed. Now, if you want to do some area of attack bleeds over time, then it's a different combination. It's a well, start. Start with there. Go with there. Okay. So let's go for it. Fist, shield, different one. Fist, shield, fist. Okay, and that. So this is now doing a damage over time. You can see that it's been added up there, but let's go and do that down with some of the bigger, bigger opponents, and more. Okay, I made a mistake, so I'll just take that. So I am taking a fair amount of damage this time, and my damage over time, and I'll do a second level of that. Now that was an elite <coughs> that needed to go down. Let's try another one. Just let that health come back. We'll drop on another group. So this time I'll go the other way. And well, it doesn't really matter which ones... Oh, I've got two of them now. This is going to be fun. shield first because I'm taking a lot of damage. So now I've hit the heel. Shield. Fist. Shield. And I've got a heal over time going.
Okay, so as I said, I'll try that once more. Shield, well, stunned of course. Shield, fist, shield, fist. Hit that one off. Shield, fist, shield. Fist. Shield. I got myself a heal. And it's doing a heal over time, as you can see. And I'm taking him out. Do it again. Shield. Fist. Shield. Fist, shield, heal over time, shield, fist, shield, fist. Now you can do that the other way around as well, now that I've got I've got that doing the heal over time. You can do it the other way around. Fist, shield, and then fist, shield, fist, and then fist, shield, fist, shield. I'll wait for that to come up. Now I'll give myself a little bit of healing again. So I've got some nice damage over times going on this critter. And I'll go defensive again. And there we go. Okay. So that gives a little bit of idea of the depth that you can take a Warden to. Um, but just to start off with, Javelin, Fist, Warden's Aim, and then the Gambit Default. But you can get a lot further into the Warden. Uh, as I said, it is one of the most difficult characters to play, but you can play it very simply if you are running it as an over-level character. Okay, and those elites are, are, are some of the some pretty pretty gnarly level 45 elites. And now I'll just go into the area and just have a show just show you what Sarnil looks like. I'll just take this down. I'm going with fist first. So, oops. Just doing the damage over time. Just running through the gauntlet. Okay, and you can see that that did not take terribly long at all. And this is... I wonder if I've got actually got the... Sorry, I'm just going to check to see if the boss is there. I can't see the boss. Okay, doesn't matter. But you gradually work your way through all of that. Okay, everyone, well, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, all.